Hello everyone, my name is Devashish and I welcome you all to this video. In part 3 of this video series, we have learned some of the basic concepts of clustering and how we are going to use clustering in our machine learning based IPS development. Uh, so in this video, we are going to see how we can actually collect data to train our model. So what we have learned so far, we need actually, you know, two different data sets to train our model. We need a known good data set and we need known bad data set for training purpose. And uh, this is a plan. This is how I'm going to collect these two data sets actually. Uh, so um, this let's, you know, have a look at the diagram. We have our, you know, server and we have this IPS. So as I have already explained, the IPS is going to be a simple proxy server. So this is how I'm going to collect the data, uh, collect the, you know, data set for training purpose. And so here I'll actually put Bob suit and I'll be using a web application security scanner to send, you know, uh, different requests to this server through the through Bob suit and actually this Bob suit actually is going to log all the HTTP requests for us. And then we can actually export the Bob log uh, to and pass it to our parser so that we can get that CSV file that you know that we're going to feed into our you know mm, feed into our ML model uh, so uh, we for uh, for collecting good data sets actually we will be using uh, simple the the crawling module of the web application security scanner and for uh, collecting bad data sets will be you know attacking uh, this server with some SQL injection attacks uh, so later on, we'll see how can we, you know, uh, we can add detection for other uh, vulnerabilities as well. For example, cross-site scripting and others. So for now, we'll be we'll actually limit ourselves to SQL injection. Uh, so yeah, uh, the, we'll be doing primarily two things. Uh, for good data set, as a data set, we'll just you know, we'll just crawl the website that is be, that will be considered as uh, good data set and bad data set will actually attack with some automated sql injection attack automated sql injection attack so let's uh, see how we can actually do that uh, so um, burp suit is already running uh, as you can see we have some history over here and let's you know delete the old histories and we have interception one and we have one web application security scanner uh, we have one web application security scanner over here that is a very old one that I, you know i managed to uh, you know find uh, let's you know what is wrong with it uh, yeah it's opening uh, this is a very old one but it will be you know good for us okay this is running yeah this is the one and uh, this is the web scanner this is the site crawler uh, actually uh, that we are going to use uh, so um, we are going to use uh, this dummy web uh, dummy vulnerable web application dot demo dot test fire dot net uh, to you know send our attack so that you know um, we do not you know uh, we do not actually harm any real application to you know do this hobby project uh, so you will be actually uh, you are actually allowed to you know send malicious payload to this particular server so that's what i'm going to use uh, to you know send attacks uh, so uh, let's first try to collect the good data set uh, for now uh, for that actually since i'll be running this from my vm okay i'll delete it and go to option uh, this is the interface that uh, on which the pro uh, proxy is listening to what I'm going to do I'm going to change it to all interface since I'll be running the scanner from uh, the VM so this is one and let's go to our VM now let's go to scan settings and go to LAN option LAN option as you can see I have selected uh, this uh, selected the system uh, as proxy server uh, so this is the uh, system where uh, the burp is uh, listening on 8080 port. So whenever this web application security scanner is sent any HTTP request to any server, it is we'll actually get to see it here uh, in our Bob suit. Law. So let's see. Let's uh, start the. Uh, let's see if we can actually crawl a web application. So the target application is uh, demo.testfire.net. Demo.testfire.net. I believe it is .net. So I'll just you know reconfirm so that I know. Yeah 
www.demo.sfi.net and uh, we had one login sequence uh, that is actually required since it has some login uh, you know login panel so i have actually created a login sequence so that we can actually crawl it better so if we just click on start as you can see it has started crawling and uh, in burp suit log what you can see we are also getting you know all this request uh, that this web application vulnerability scanner is making to you know demo.testify.net we are actually logging everything and as you can see the crawling is already done but we have not actually collected much data uh, so what we'll do we'll actually you know uh, crawl another application which is also a vulnerable web application we are allowed to scan uh, so testphp.vulnweb.com this is actually uh, you just if you visit this site so this is actually made for you know aquinetics vulnerability scanner itself so we can actually easily um, we can actually scan it without any complication legal complication so let's uh, do it again L just make sure that we are actually logging this one as well as you can see we are uh, you know logging this one as well some post request it is making still actually uh, doing this yeah the crawling is done and so this is how actually we are going to collect uh, the good data set uh, for our machine learning model and after that we need some uh, bad data set as well uh, so what are we going to do using our Acunetics Web Vulnerability Scanner? Uh, so before we do that, actually, we need to actually export that data, uh, export that log. Uh, so just to keep the uh, make the video short, I'm just yeah, I have collected you know uh, very few samples. Uh, you can actually uh, to you know train that model better. You uh, you you can collect. You should collect actually you know uh, as much as you can. Uh, so let's say good requests dot log save we have this as save now we can delete it now let's go to our you know uh, collecting the bad data set for that we need to have uh, we need to send you know automated SQL injection request so let's see how we can do that uh, so uh, we'll be sending SQLI request to uh, this one only demo.testify.net uh, so web scanner we'll select demo.testfire.net and we'll have to select you know what all attack you want to send so for this one i'll just select sql injection i'll just send start let's see what we are getting in the burp as you can see it is actually bombarding the server with you know a lot of request and wait just a second as you can see, it is sending a lot of SQLI payload alongside, you know, this uh, percentage 24/7b, single code, double code, all these things. It is, you know, it is. It has started sending to the server. Yeah, all these things are, you know, bad uh, payload that we actually, you know, we expect in a bad HTTP request. So uh, that we are collecting now. So let's see if it is done. It's still running actually 63.75. So now actually the SQL injection scan is done and we have some request in our burp log that we are going to export uh, as you know bad data set. So let's select all, right click, save as a good request, I'm going to call it as bad requests, bad requests. So now this is what we are going to do. We are going to pass uh, these two logs to our um, to our burp log parser that we have developed and extract these features that I have mentioned in my previous video, which is the part three. So you, if you haven't already watched that part three of this particular series, I'd request you to you know go back and watch that video so that you know I have actually I tried to explain some of the basic concepts there. So yeah, mm, that's all. Um, that is what I'm going to do. So let's do it now, and we'll see how the data set actually looks like.
uh, we are at the right python python.exe i'll just have to you know so i'll parse the good log first but good request dot log good request dot log and i'll save it as good dot csv good dot csv and class flag i'll explain what is it it's actually let's call it as good we should get a file called good.csv let's open it so as you can see it has actually you know extracted uh, these features uh, single code double code dashes extracted all these features out of this you know raw bub block that is a, that it has found so this actually this particular column i have added you know just to uh, just to ensure that um, you know later on we can actually detect whether uh, we are able to correctly detect uh, any good request or bad request so we will be actually when we are actually training that machine learning model we we'll, we are going to ignore this uh, so for testing purpose i have added it so that we can actually distinguish between good one the known good one and known bad one so that's why uh, that's what uh, you know this class column is holding uh, so this is about you know good dot csv uh, now let's try to pass the bad one uh, bad request bad request we'll call it as bad and the output will be bad.csv we have one bad.csv file and as you can see we have all these you know features extracted and these are actually you know known to be bad request bad http request which are having actually you know sql injection payloads uh, so if you just take a look at this, you'll be able to see path. Sorry, I have to remove this. If you just now take a look at this, you should be able to see, you know, there are a lot of, you know, uh, bad HTTP requests uh, should be there. Okay, wait, body. Yeah, this one. As you can see, there are you know a lot of bad payload that are being sent. So uh, we are going to combine uh, these two you know files into one, and this is what we are going to use to train our you know machine learning model. Uh, and we'll be using some clustering and clustering algorithm to kind of cluster this good and ba bad data. Uh, so we'll come to these concepts in the later videos. Uh, till then, stay tuned. And by the way, if you uh, enjoy the kind of content I upload on this channel, please uh, subscribe to this channel. And uh, thank you for your time. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.